Welcome back to Carrot & Co's YouTube channel. I'm Derek and today I'm going to be talking about a watch that I wish to own one day. And if you read the title above, then you know I'm talking about the Vacheron Constantin Traditionnel Manual Winding. I can already hear people loving it and also some people questioning, why this? It's so simple, there's no complication, but to really understand this, you have to dive deep into the details and we have to go into the Traditionnel's history. Before we do that, Please subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our newest videos. Like this video if you find it useful and comment down below so we can start chatting. Now, the traditional collection is the ultimate expression of simplicity and elegance in hot horlegerie, which is basically the highest pinnacle of fine watchmaking. The traditional collection is what many people would consider to be a dress watch made to be worn with a suit or formal attire like I am here today. Although if you had this watch or any from this traditional collection, I wouldn't stop you from styling it with jeans and a t-shirt. The traditional is basically the guardian and preserver of Geneva fine watchmaking traditions. So traditions protecting traditions. And what you'll see here today with this traditional is the notion of this aesthetic adapting to what's technically required. Whether it be a simple manual winding watch like here today, or last year's incredible traditional Twin B Perpetual Calendar, which was a very highly complicated watch, but it still retains that classic traditional style, and it's also very easy to read and use. And this whole design aesthetic came from the 18th century, when master watchmakers from Geneva were adapting pocket watches, which were becoming obsolete, into wrist watches, what we use today. And to give you a better idea of what I'm all talking about, Let's jump right into today's watch, the traditional manual winding reference 82172. I have here today two traditional manual winding watches in white gold and 18 karat 5N pink gold, reference 82172. They both feature time only with petite seconds. What I love about this piece off the bat is that it represents the most pure form of this traditional styling it is a foundation for more complicated pieces in the collection. The Traditionnel is a classic elegant three-hand dress watch that comes in platinum, white gold, or 18 karat 5N rose gold or pink gold. The watch diameter is incredibly compact at 38 millimeters with a very slim 7.77 millimeters thickness, which is especially great for my wrist here at around 6.5. The slender and perfectly circular case is delicately highlighted by the flat surface of top and bottom of the case. This multi-level design of this case is developed this way to fit future complications in the collection's lineup. The sides of the case band are fluted, and the case back itself features a delicate decoration, all done by hand. The lugs are minimalistic, and the crown is another emphasis of the circular, perfect shape. The physical compact size of 38 millimeters is a great medium sized watch that should fit smaller sized wrists like mine. And despite being a dress watch with so much aesthetic from one of the Holy Trinity brands, this piece is not meant to be in your face or trying to grab your attention, but it naturally does it with its ultra simplicity style at such an overly designed high level. The silvered opaline dial is flawless with its open spaces and balanced symmetry. The actual timekeeping aspect is featured here with the clean railroad style minute track around the edge of the dial. The gold applied tapered and faceted hour markers are called Baton de Genève hour markers. While the solid gold dolphin hands feature a bifaceted pattern with polish and satin finishes. At 6 o'clock, Vacheron Constantin incorporates a petite seconds, so you still have the running seconds around another small railroad track but incorporating a petite seconds allows the seconds to remain elegant and undisturbing and not the center of tension. The second subdial also gives a subtle two-tone effect to the dial. 
And yes, traditionally dress watches were supposed to be ultra elegant, time only watches without any complications or functions such as the date or chronograph. In some cases, not even the seconds were allowed because checking or counting the seconds while at a formal event would be considered rude. While this rule is not really black and white today, we see dress watches utilizing complications such as calendars, minute repeaters, tourbillons, and more, but still holding onto the essence of simplicity and cleanliness. Above Vacheron Constantin's black text logo is the applied Maltese cross, which is the icon of Vacheron Constantin. The symbol of the Maltese cross was chosen as Vacheron Constantin's logo because it represents the shape of the watchmaking component that fixed the barrel to the movement, reducing the amount of wheels necessary for winding. I can't think of many other watch brands that use an actual watch component that was used in their movements as their official logo. And it's basically like Vacheron Constantin is showing its high watchmaking and just its logo itself. The movement also makes a lot of noise here. This is the in-house caliber 4400. It's a beautifully decorated movement containing several areas of perlage, cosse genève, chamfering, beveled edges, and more decorations, which can be invisible to the wearer and most likely will only be seen by the watchmaker who would end up servicing it. Before being assembled by a watchmaker, each component of this caliber is being finely hand decorated according to the stringent aesthetic standards set by Vacheron Constantin. In the ultra slim 2.8 millimeter thickness of the movement, it carries an incredibly long 65 hour power reserve. That's almost three days. The caliber 4400 is a modern day movement that is a precursor for some other incredible Vacheron Constantin movement and watches and was designed to be able to be serviced by any qualified watchmaker, making it easy to take care of in an after-service time frame. Basically, the way it works is that this caliber 4400 can be stacked upon, so you can add a triple calendar or you can add some other complications in the future lineup. So you'll see there will be caliber 4400 and maybe another number or letter after to signify where it came from. Now on the actual case back, there's the official hallmark of Geneva, or also known as the Geneva seal. No, not that seal, this seal. The Geneva seal, or the hallmark of Geneva, is the oldest, most demanding, independent label controlled by the state of Geneva. This started because many, many years ago, other watch brands were putting the word Geneva on their watches so that they could ride on the wave of excellent reputation that Geneva watches had. In order to combat that, the Geneva state created these stringent criteria that made it so in order for a watch to legally put the word Geneva on the watch, it had to pass these requirements. And although many of Vacheron Constantin watches carries this hallmark of Geneva, it actually sets this as a benchmark and several of its pieces actually exceed the criteria to get the hallmark of Geneva, meaning that it's over excelling. And there's several points to the hallmark of Geneva, but I'll just cover the main ones. The first one is provenance. Basically, the watch and the caliber must be assembled, set, encased, and controlled in Geneva, Switzerland. And the manufacturer's headquarters actually has to be located in the canton of Geneva. That makes sense because you can't be calling it a Geneva watch if your headquarters is not even in Geneva. There must be a visible sign of craftsmanship, meaning the respect of traditional hand finishes for technical and aesthetical reasons. The watch also has to meet this reliability criteria of precision, water resistance, its claimed power reserve, and its functions. And some of the benefits of using the hallmark of Geneva as the one to certify the watches is that it's an independent label controlled by the state of Geneva, so there's neutrality for Vacheron Constantin there, and all the tests are recorded and kept for archives and only about 30,000 watches are certified per year by the Geneva seal, so there is exclusivity for having it on your watch. And the hallmark of Geneva certifies pretty much movements, linking components, and a whole case stub watch. And each serial number of the watch is individually certified, so they're not just certifying the whole collection or just a reference number, but each individual serial number. The watch is paired with this gorgeous alligator crocodile strap in either black or this beautiful brown and with a simple and beautiful Ardillon or Tang buckle resembling the Maltese cross. 
And both these pieces start at a price of 19,100, but of course it can keep going up from there depending on if you use different materials such as platinum, or if you add separate complications or decorations like more diamonds or a power reserve or date or automatic winding. And ultimately what I love is that it's more than meets the eye. It can look fairly simple, but there's so much detail and workmanship that go into this watch. And both of these pieces are available in our shop as an authorized retailer for Vacheron Constantin. We also carry several of their other collections, such as the Overseas, the Patrimony, the Malta, the Historiques, the New Ejury, 56, and more. See the description below for more details. What I love about the Vacheron Constantin Traditionnel is that even though it's not a brand new watch release, it still holds up so well today, and that's because of its design code and aesthetics make it so timeless. I think this is what a lot of watch manufacturers and brands aspire to be like. And basically, without this watch, you wouldn't have some of the more technically complicated or beautiful watches that came after it. This is like Iron Man, and without Iron Man, you don't have the MCU. All in all, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our latest videos and leave a comment below so we can start chatting. It's been a minute. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.